yeah. Greetings, comrades. This is I'm going Caleb back with part three of Scythe. And uh Yeah. Had to clear out this area before we uh uh, end of the last video. So yeah, here we are. Oh man, it feels good to switch back to this after playing cock duties Yes, against my better judgment, I bought the uh, newer Call of Duty games on Steam. At least the Modern Warfare games. Which, maybe I'll get Cold War at some point, but I'm not buying Vanguard. <laughs> I've heard nothing good about Vanguard. You know, I miss playing, you know, Modern Warfare 2 and, uh, you know, playing around Invasion and touring with the gunsmith, so. Yeah, there was the Activision Publisher sale. Uh. Earlier this week, so I figured, you know what, let's just jump on it and. Buy it, which. I'm actually glad I did, because, uh. I actually enjoyed, uh, Modern Warfare 2019 as well as Modern Warfare 2. Modern for 3, you know, it's... I go playing there, it's okay. It's pretty much just more the same. I don't know why they... I don't know why Activision bothered to, uh... Make Modern for their its own separate game when they said clearly... That Modern for 2 is going to last two years. And then, oh no, no, Modern for 3 refers up to the campaign. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't fool us, Activision. But, <laughs> we did anyway. Fell for it anyway, because, you know... You can put the Call of Duty logo on a bag of trash and people <laughs> spend a hundred dollars on it. That's how we humans are. At least... <laughs> FPS fanboys. But anyway... I played through a bit. You know, it's okay. And yeah, I'm definitely glad I got them on Steam because I, I... I've had problems with Battle.net <laughs> back on my days of Proteus. And I swore myself I am never using Battle.net again. Long story short, I actually did buy Modern Warfare 3 like uh, earlier this year, but uh, when I tried to start up, it said there was a problem updating, so I uninstalled it, reinstalled it again, but it still showed it, and then I gave up and tried to install Battle uninstall Battle.net, but it was also really glitchy, like it wouldn't install uninstall properly. So I had to force uninstall it, and I was like, at that point, I'm never using Battle.net again. Like, it's worse than the Epic Game Store. You can hail me all you want, but... I think Battle.net's worse than Epic Game Store. But anyway, yeah... I'm not using Battle.net, but I'm so glad I got the Modern Warfare 1 and 2 because since the progress is linked to your Activision account, not your Battle.net account, it kept all my progress. Like all my unlocks from Modern Warfare 1 and my progress from Modern Warfare 2 and all the uh, CM Pass skins I got, which is awesome. So I can play a spawn. In Skid Row. Hell yeah. Though I missed on the first two seasons. Like, eh, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I'm trying to level up some of my weapons, though. Because I'm playing Invasion. But... I don't, I don't really like Invasion. I'm not over 3 damage. For starters, there's only three maps. And there haven't been any more added. And it's already we're already three seasons in. I don't know, I didn't like the layouts of the Modern Warfare 3's invasion maps. I actually prefer, uh, ones of Modern Warfare 2. Because there's a lot more variety. Even though most of them took place on all Mazra. Granted, all three of the Modern Warfare 3 invasion maps took place on Urzikstan. Which, uh, can we get some more maps from Invasion, please? Or at the very least, bring back the ones from Modern Warfare 2, because I actually enjoyed those. Especially Al Malik International.
So if they ever put shipment back on their rotation for <laughs> in the playlist, I'll be grinding. I'll be a uh, upgrade. I'll be up. I'll be leveling up my weapons like there's no tomorrow. Like, I don't recall whether or not I said I was going to skip my one for three. Because I know it had its problems at launch. Granted, it's okay now, but, uh, you know, once I ever got to mention the invasion map, sometimes textures won't load properly. And keep in mind, I'm ins it's installed in an SSD. So I guess I, I didn't have any problems with one for two maps loading textures, so I don't know what the deal is. But that, not much else going on, you know, uh, I requested a vacation for uh, the week after, which I'm hopefully going to renew my driver's license, which I scheduled in the local DPS. For not this, not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. And then I'm going to take my car to the shop to, uh, check the struts, the brakes, and get some new tires. Because I don't know when the last time this, that car had new tires. But, uh, yeah, aside from cock -a I did buy another game on Steam called Eon Fighter. It's basically like a, it's sort of like Time Wasters, but, uh, that dance a lot of imps. I'm going to save real quick. But you're collecting resources. And like, as you level up, you'll get, just like any other survivor-like game, you'll get more power-ups as you level up. And you unlock more as you play through the game and complete challenges and stuff. Soundtrack's pretty cool, too. In fact, one of the songs on, a uh, Eon Fire is actually in Brotato. Which I think is really cool. Oh, I think there's a switch. I kind of forgot. Is it over here? Yeah, here it is. Oh, I thought it'd be a cyber demon. Oh, the spider mass is just a pushover. It's a cyber demon you gotta watch out for. Right. The starport. You just take right from the super shotgun. At least I'll get more ammo. Load up on shells. I only got twelve of them. Right, where am I gonna say it? How about that? We're already almost stocked. Hell yeah. Has to fall with the plasma gun. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait just two more days. Well, as of this video's up, a one more day. And that new Vampire Survivors DLC is coming out Operation Guns. You'll finally get some proper guns in Vampire Survivors. Bill Riser and the crew. Coming in to save the day. Or at least attempt to. This will be easier than the actual Contra games. <laughs> yeah, I think... I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. I will get that new Contra game. Uh, Operation Galuga, I think it's called. I heard decent amount of mixed, decent amount of good things about it. You know what? 
here. Buddha! <laughs> I don't feel like backtracking too much. For those who don't know, Buddha is essentially God mode, but you still take damage, but you stop taking damage when you get to 1% health. Did I ever get a BFG? No, I did not. Of course, we put a cyber deer in such a small space like this. Okay. You saw nothing. But yeah, this uh, Saturday's been mostly uneventful. Had some rain, but uh, managed to cook with a little ham bone soup. I still kept my ham bone from Easter and. Uh, but a pretty simple recipe for a ham and bean soup. Calls for a ham bone. I had some diced ham on the side because uh, I felt that the meat that was on the bone wouldn't be enough. Okay, so I got a little itch on my nose here. Where to put the switch? Is there something I missed? I don't think I missed anything. Oh, let's go through here. Okay, Solitude. You guys are Carter, yeah, same interlude. Oh, this is a DC to start with a gun. I want my super shotgun, damn it. Oh, well, regular shotgun will do for the time being. Yeah, we'll save the, uh,. We'll send the Berserk pack whenever I'm low on health. But I still haven't gotten around to reviewing another controller and keep putting it off. I mean, they're getting a decent amount of views. I mean, you know, it was a decent amount of views as a sub 1000 subscriber channel can get anyway <laughs> they hardly leave me with any ammo here what screw the Baron just gonna ignore him not gonna ignore him though. See, they don't leave me with that much ammo. Well, you know what? <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna cheat, but actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna make this. If it am, I forgot the O. Yeah, I don't like cheating. When I'm trying to do a legitimate playthrough, but you know, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. We'll just turn on Buddha mode. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, this weekend's been nice, but the the rest of the week has been 
pretty hectic. It got busy earlier this week. I don't know why. I can't believe it's May already. I guess I'll take out the Baron we chickened out on. <laughs> they didn't leave that much ammo in this stage, did they? I know there was one map pack I played a while back that I kind of complained about uh, how little ammo there was. I don't remember if it was this one. Damn, he's got a super shoddy in the end. He just takes it back over here. Alright. Despair. No, 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 no. I don't remember if it's this map pack or another one. There's this one map with like a ton of monsters in it. I think it's inside. I don't know. It's either this or Hell Revealed. And I've played so many <coughs> map packs over the years. It's hard to keep track of them all. Ooh, it's starting to look up now. Oh, yeah. This is the first BHJ I encountered in this map pack. It might have been the sequence in the previous maps, but uh, didn't put much mind to them. Because I usually go on my way hunting for secrets. Heck, most of the time I play GZ, I just fire brush and overkill, give myself all the weapons, and just go ham. And usually I do so in an obsidian map pack. I like to have a little variety of my maps. <laughs> and you know, I'm sure there are thousands of map packs out there, but sometimes you just want something randomly generated. That's why I'm glad map generators exist. Good. I'm going back to this map twenty two, okay. This might be a four part, this is I suck. You all are new that though, so I don't know why I keep stating the obvious. Yeah, I think it was this map pack that has the slaughter slaughter map style map. I thought it was in Hell Revealed, but I think it's in Scythe. At this point, I'm cheating for the sake of brevity. You know, this isn't like completely legitimate playthroughs or anything like that. I'm gonna do these doing videos. This is me, you know, playing a map pack and you know, trying to get through it without cheating, and if I end up cheating, then hey, it is what it is. Like I play games to uh, relieve stress, not get more stress. Gotta love metal middies. They just scream doom. Now, I <laughs> now whenever I hear like a <laughs> when I hear like a metal song in midi form, I ask, "Is this in doom?" Because some, <laughs> you know, can't sound too far off. Because you know, some of the uh, original doom songs that were released then. 
were based on metal songs back in the day. For some reason I wasn't firing there. Quite a few monsters, but this isn't the uh, slaughter map. I love that final doom music in here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When Final Doom came out. I saw on the PlayStation. I didn't know it was made by modders. Like, I didn't know it was made by map makers back in the day. Like, I thought it was, like, officially from id Software, but, uh... No, it's actually from, uh... Legitimate map makers back in the day. It was weird you had to buy them separately. Which was definitely a controversial thing back in the day, and sadly, it's something that's kind of reared its head up again lately. I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. You know, decide what to make for my sister comes over because uh yep early, early in the week um, she went to the doctor and turns out she uh, has a gluten allergy so she don't she can no longer eat bread or wheat products or anything like that so I had to find some gluten-free recipes which honestly isn't too hard because honestly most of the stuff I already cook you know they fell, fell something gluten-free so some of the recipes she showed me weren't too far from what I normally cook, so you know what? It's not big of a deal, though. I'm trying to find some like different ingredients to ensure they're gluten free. Which, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you all, I can't tell when it comes to taste wise, I can't tell the difference between regular and gluten free. I guess since I don't have a gluten allergy, I, it's not really something to think about. But now one of my sisters has a gluten allergy, and now I gotta take that into consideration when cooking food for her and the family when they come over. But you know, it's no big deal for me. Again, the recipes I saw, not too far from what I normally cook. Let's get a I don't know how an arch file because if I have a BFG blast. Like to me, there are two enemies that actually I legitimately fear in Doom. Cyber Demons and Arch Viles. If you know, you know. Envy. Okay. It's a smaller map. <laughs> I'm punching an Arachnotron. I heard a Baron. I don't have any armor. I don't take any more damage because I got Buddha mode on.
Oh, it's the mastermind. Only three G BFG blocks take out a spider mastermind. Or a cyber dude takes like four or five. Oh, this takes it back over here. Stranger wasn't taking damage. Fear. Okay, this is the map. This is the map. And you know what? I think we're going to end the video here. Because uh, I kind of want to save this for the next part. So yeah, this will definitely be a four-parter. Anyway, this is I'm giving Caleb signing out. Y'all have a good day. Suck it up, life's tough. We know that someone's got better stuff and can throw cash. Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path. I don't need no handouts on my own man. Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it in fast, yeah. Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah. Man, I only get down with the best, uh. I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh.